Happy February 1st, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. I know some of you say that to me the first of every month. My husband and his family, they always say rabbit, rabbit, rabbit for luck at the first of every month. And you know, I don't know what, where that tradition came from, but anyways, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. It's February 1st and I am so happy because February is like the end of winter here in the Midwest and we have had quite the winter. Today it's sunny and it's going to be 50 degrees. The sky is blue and I can't even believe it sometimes because yesterday was the dreariest day I can remember in a while. The skies were full of thick, dark gray clouds and everything looked dead and gray and I had a really hard day yesterday. Just met my mental health was not good. It's amazing what the sunlight can do for you. I woke up in my bed this morning. Well, <laughs> I usually wake up in my bed, but I did wake up in my bed and the light was flooding in because of the sun today. And I did look at the forecast yesterday and it didn't say there was going to be a lot of sun today. I just used the app. I didn't like watch the news or anything. So I was like, oh, I've got to figure out ways to get through the day without getting depressed. Um, but God had a surprise for me because it is sunny, blue skies and 50 degrees and I am rejoicing about that. I've got a whole big day planned. I'm gonna film this video. Well, first of all, I did my Bible study this morning when I woke up. I always do that first thing. Every day I have homework. So I take care of that first thing. Then I, if I'm going to film a video, I come up and put my makeup on for the video and get ready to film. And then I'm going to go on a long walk with my dogs. I'm going to take them out and we are just going to walk and bask in this beautiful sunshine. And then I have to run into Trader Joe's and then I have an exercise class at 4.30. And then by the time I'm done with that, it'll be almost six o'clock. And my, my husband's working late tonight and my son who still lives at home has something going on with his swim team this evening. So I'm going to go to this restaurant called Corito. It's like almost like a Chipotle or a Panera bread kind of place where you can go in and pick a bowl. It's They specialize in grains and and um, like superfoods, it's delicious. If you would have one near you, I would recommend trying it and pick something off of the menu that has like a lot of flavors you like. It'll be so delicious, I promise you. It's also very healthy. So I'm gonna eat that for dinner tonight. <laughs> then I'm gonna take my shower. Then I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna watch some Netflix or something. There's a new True Detective. I've never watched True Detective before. And there's four seasons and a new one just came out and it has Jodie Foster in it. So I wanna watch that, but not all the episodes are out yet. And I was talking to my friend JD, you might remember her from YouTube. She um, told me I should start watching watching the other three seasons. So I started season one and it's pretty good. It has Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey in it. And they're both like phenomenal actors. So I'm really enjoying that. It's a little bit dark, but they're solving a crime. So anyways, so that's my day. And so yeah, that's all I have for you today. No, I'm only kidding. Um, what are you guys doing today? And how's the weather where you live? I am at the point now where I feel like I need to have somewhere to go in the winter months. My daughter does live in South Carolina, so I think I need to have a plan in place for next winter. Like even if it's like a short-term rental or something, if my husband and I can swing it, but I need to get to the sun every now and then in the winter months because I'm realizing that my seasonal depression gets like worse and worse every year. So that's what I've been thinking about, just kind of dreaming about. I don't know if it'll actually happen or not, but you know, you got to start dreaming before something becomes a reality. So that's what I've been doing. So the topic of this video today is my January monthly favorites. I have so many things that I want to share with you that it was really hard for me to make a list of my monthly favorites and keep it concise. So I always say this to you guys. I'm like, so maybe I'll do another one, like a part two. Um, um, and I might because I have some other items that I really want to share with you. And I think I might do that because some of them are clothing and things like that. And you guys know I don't share a lot because I'm so, so casual in my everyday life. I wear, like today I'm going to be exercising. So I have on my exercise clothes because I don't want to change later when I go. Um, and I usually just wear jeans and nice tops and shoes and handbags that I like and things like that. Just like 
you know, I'm just the average American woman. I don't shop like high fashion or anything like that. But I did find some things I liked that are very casual, and I think some of you will like them too. So I'll be sharing those. With okay, the first thing I wanna share with you is a dupe for an UGG shoe or slipper. And it's a dupe for the UGG Taz slip-ons or slippers. Um, they're called slippers, I believe, but I see women and girls wearing them all around my town. Usually they're wearing them with like really baggy sweatpants or jeans. Um, they're kind of a trend right now. And I saw them and I'm like, hmm, those are kind of cute. She looks so cute in those, but are they for me? And I wasn't really sure. And you know, Uggs are expensive. So I didn't want to spend the money on a shoe that I wasn't absolutely wanting, especially an expensive shoe. So I found a dupe on Amazon and it's a really good dupe. So this is what it looks like. And it's a dupe for the Ugg Taz slippers or slip-ons. And what I was unsure about is this platform down here. I thought they might be tricky for me to walk in or they might just look weird, but I don't think they do. And I do think that they're very easy to walk in and they're very comfortable. The other thing is that the suede, sometimes if you get a dupe for Uggs, the suede, or um, sheepskin or whatever this is. I don't think this is that, but it feels weird on the dupes, like sometimes a little bit hard or just doesn't feel right. This feels exactly like my Ugg boots feel. And I did treat it with my Ugg spray that I treat all my Ugg boots with. And um, I've had them ever since December and I've worn them several times. I do have a little something here that'll brush out, but um, you know, it's winter time, so things get dirty. And they're lined with fleece, so they're super comfortable. I've seen a lot of people wearing them without socks, and that's how you typically are supposed to wear Ugg boots. So I don't even wear socks all the time with these. Even in the dead of winter, they're so easy to slip on and go out like for dinner or lunch or something or run errands and slip off when you get home. Super duper comfy. And then it has this little thing on the back here. So in case you need help kind of pulling them on your foot, I never use that, but that's what that's for. And they look exactly like the Ugg Taz slip-ons to me. So I'm going to put them on and I'm going to show you how they look on me just so you can get an idea. Usually I wear them with jeans or like some really loose fitting sweatpants that are kind of trendy right now, you know, just the whole comfortable look. Um, but this is how they look. I'm wearing my exercise clothes. So I wanted to show you how they look on because they are like Uggs, just kind of big and clunky, but it's the, it's the style right now. And I think they're super cute. So I wanted to share these with you. I got mine on Amazon. I'll link them down below in the description box. And so that's the first thing that I loved in the month of January, all of the month of January and December too. Okay, the next thing is two skincare items. And you may have tried one of these before, but the other one is new. So if you, you probably haven't tried it unless you just purchased it and you're using it now. And they're both from Clinique. And the first one is, has been around a long time. So you probably all know about this. It's the Clinique Take the Day Off. And this is a cleansing balm and it looks like this. I use it in the shower as my first cleanse because when I get in the shower at night, my makeup is like what I'm wearing now that I've had on all day, and I have sunscreen on under my makeup, and this is really good for breaking down that sunblock and really sticky foundations because I really like to wear foundations like Estee Lauder Double Wear, and they tend to be like I don't know, really long wearing foundations that are kind of hard to break up. So it breaks up all the stuff I have on my skin. So I'll be using this. And then I did pick up a new Clinique product that is absolutely wonderful. And it's the Clinique Take the Day Off Facial Cleansing Mousse. And this is what it looks like. And this has glycerin in it and it has hyaluronic acid in it. So it does not strip or dry out your skin. It starts out as like a thicker kind of moussey texture. And as you rub it into your skin, it turns into like a foam and it feels so good. And it's like from Clinique. So it's completely mild, 
your skin won't get irritated by it. It won't break you out. It's a wonderful cleanser. It says on the website that you can use it alone or with a double cleanse with a cleansing balm. And that's what I do because I have so much makeup on and skincare on every day. So I do both, but I have tried it without doing this first and it does just fine. <laughs> I just kind of like doing that double cleanse at night. I feel like it's a little self-care in the shower and I enjoy doing it. So I do both, but you can honestly do one and not the other or this one and not this one and it will work just fine. But I like to do the double cleanse whenever I use a cleansing balm because I feel that it leaves my skin feeling like a little coated, like there's something on my skin and I wanna remove it. So I always go in with something else when I use a balm, but I love these just because they do get everything off. Okay, the next things are some cosmetics that I purchased over December for um, like the holiday sales. And two of them are blushes from Patrick Ta. He had a sale and this is what I picked up. This is what the compact looks like. And I haven't owned anything from Patrick Ta. So this is these are my first Patrick Ta products. And what you get in this little compact are two complimentary shade blushes, one in a powder formula and one in a cream formula. And this compact is called do we know her and that's what it looks like it's really kind of neutral peach and this is the powder it's very pigmented you need to use the lightest touch so this compact will last you a very long time because i go in with so little product i'll show you on the screen how i do it and i follow patrick ta's directions for using both blushes together but you can use them separately you could go in with the powder blush which is more of a matte but it has some emollients to it they, they definitely feel luxurious to me and i'm trying to think does he have anything in them i think there's some hyaluronic acid in the formula and i think he might even use a little shea butter there's like some emollients to them even though it's a powder formula and then you have a cream here and it's got this little cover over it so that the powder doesn't get into the cream and the way Petra Ta recommends using these together is using the powder first and then using the cream, which is counterintuitive to me. Whenever I use two blushes, which I often do, I'll use the more emollient blush first, the cream, and then go over it with something sheer and powdery. But the way he does it is recommends using the powder first and just kind of like pouncing it in place and it's so easy to get in place because it is so sort of emollient and pigmented. And by the way, they're very, very, very long wearing. My blush will look like this at the end of the day, even though I'm gonna work out later and I won't wash my face, I'll just sweat and it'll be fine. And then you go in with this one and I like to use a stippling brush. He does have a, a brush that he sells for these, but I don't have it. And this is an emollient cream blush, and it looks like that. And I really, well, no, I didn't really dig into it. I kind of just made a circle, but that's how pigmented that is. Yeah, and you're going to go very light-handed. You're just going to kind of tap your brush in there and then stipple it on the edges and like on the apples of your cheeks. That's what he recommends doing. And just that teensy bit of work will give you this really bold finish. He does have some more neutral shades of blush, but the two I picked out are kind of bold. So this one is called Do We Know Her? And then I also picked up She's a Doll. And this one is so pretty. You guys know I love my pinks. And this is what She's a Doll looks like. And I'll use this in a Get Ready With Me so you can see. It's that brightening. I say it every time. I think every monthly favorites, I always have like a blush that has this pink in it because it just brightens up my entire face. Um, this one does too though. I think these are great for me to have in my collection because I love peaches and I love pinks and those are pretty much all I ever wear. I'm trying to branch out into more rosy and nudie shades but I always go back to the pinks and peaches and then in the cream, this is the cream. 
and you just need the teensiest bit. Like I said, they're really easy to apply. You are probably thinking they're so pigmented, they might be tricky to use, but honestly, just touch your brush to them, apply them and build. And if you do apply a little too much, just continue to kind of buff it into your skin and it'll lighten up. And then you can maybe use a little powder over it and it'll be just fine. I've done that before and it was not a big deal. I didn't have to go wash my face or anything. So these are the two blushes that I got. I'm so happy I have them. I don't need any more, but I love these so much. I'd like to collect all the shades, but they wouldn't all be flattering on me, but it's tempting because they are so beautiful. And even at the full price of $36, that's still less than a lot of luxury brands. And they are definitely a luxury product. So I'd recommend these for sure. And then the other thing, I'm not sure if it's a favorite, but I've been wearing it a lot and it's the lipstick I have on. And I honestly can't even tell you the shade right now because the sticker fell off and I can't look, but I'll look at my receipt and I'll put it in the description. And box. it's also from Patrick Ta and it's like a matte formula, but it's so creamy. And this is what it looks like. It's what I'm wearing right now. I wasn't sure that the shade would suit me. You know that I typically go for peachy, pinky lipstick shades as well as blush shades. And this one is kind of like a nudie brown. That's how it looks. And then, you know, you blend it into your lips and that's how it looks. And this is how it looks on. And I wasn't sure if it really suits me, but I like the formula a lot. And I'm glad that I tried it. Since there was a sale when I picked up the blush, the... Do We Know Her blush, the peachy one. I decided to pick a lipstick that I thought would complement it and take advantage of the sale. So this is the one I selected. But I can tell you that I like the formula a lot. It feels really good on my lips. It feels really cushiony on my lips. It does not dry out my lips, which I know some of you might ask, and it doesn't. It feels really good on my lips, and it's long wearing too. So um, yeah, if you have a color in the Patrick Ta lipsticks that you'd like to try, I would recommend it because I'm really enjoying it. Okay, the next product is a favorite. I'm really enjoying this next product and it's new from Laura Mercier and it's the new Telk Free Blurring Setting Powder and I have mine in the shade Translucent. I think it comes in three shades, um, Translucent, Honey, and then like a deeper shade and um, I picked the the translucent and I really like it a lot. I already have it on one side of my face. I have it on this side of my face. It's blurring and it sets everything and it lasts for 16 hours. You won't need to touch up your, your powder at all. It will really hold everything in place all of your foundation, especially if you're wearing those foundations that are a little glowy and um, thinner, you know, they not, but they're not really, they don't adhere super well that you typically like to set because they might feel a little tacky or something. This will do the job and it's so pretty. And so I do have it on my left side and I was going to apply it on my right side to show you. And I hope the camera can pick up how it looks. So I have the mini size because I wasn't sure if I'd like it. And honestly, I like having the mini sizes. I think that they're, they give you a really decent amount of product and the mini size lasts me a year anyways. So I don't have any reason to get the jumbo size. Um, so I'm picking up a little bit on this brush and I'm going to apply it to this side of my face just to show you how it does blur. And I hope you, that the camera picks it up. I mean, normally under my eye, I'd use this brush, but then I'd go in with something big like this and blend it. It's so pretty outside today. My dogs are out on the deck and they're barking. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. And it has silica in it, it has hyaluronic acid in it, it's talc free, and it does have silica in it. And I learned a long time ago watching makeup artists that silica is really good for setting your foundation because silica blurs and it's really good for under your eye. And because it has the hyaluronic acid in it, it doesn't dry out my skin, it doesn't feel 
drying and it doesn't look cakey or gather up into my lines and creases. And I am really, really pleased with this. So I would definitely recommend this if you're wondering about it. I'm having a really great experience with Even it. when I'm wearing my more long wearing foundations that don't feel sticky, the ones I typically don't powder, I feel like even those look better with a light dusting of this over them. It's just a really beautiful powder. I love that blurring effect. I think it really does something for mature skin. And I think it's definitely doing Doing something for mine maybe just just cosmetically not permanently but I'll take it okay the next product is from the brand Batiste you might be familiar with Batiste for their dry shampoo they make so many really different scented dry shampoos and my daughters love them and so we have a lot of Batiste products in our home and they have recently released leave-in hair masks and I think there's three of them and they do different things some repair some um um, I don't know. They do different things. The one that I chose is the leave-in hair mask for split ends and smoothing your hair. And I've been using this. I could when I wash my hair and I get out of the shower, I apply it to my hair wet and then I comb my hair with my wet brush. And when I wake up, my hair is very smooth. I don't have any flyaways and the ends look really nice. I usually use the It's a 10 leave-in, so I haven't been using that and I've been using this and I really like this a lot. I got mine in the mini size at Ulta. They didn't have any of the other formulas in the mini size, so you'd have to get the full size if they only released this one in the mini, but at my Ulta, that was the case. But this was the one I wanted anyways because I want my hair to be smooth and I don't want it to have flyaways. And you know, in the winter here, we can get static electricity in our hair and get flyaways. And so that's what I wanted it for. And as you know, I've said to you in my hair video, I don't like repair products in my hair because they do tend to make my hair drier because they have typically have keratin or some sort of amino acids that build your hair back up if your hair is porous and my hair is not so I don't need it if you bleach your hair or if you have chemically treated hair in some way that might be the one for you but it's not the one for me and I really love this one it does have a very light scent it kind of reminds me of jojoba, um, like products I've used with jojoba in them. It kind of has just that really light, very light scent. I like it and it's not strong at all. Nobody will notice it. You might not even notice it very much. And I apply it all through my hair and I just work it, work it in dry brush or wet brush my hair and I'm good to go when I wake up all I have to do is kind of take out my silk hair twist that I sleep in and comb my hair out and it looks great so I'd really recommend this too if you're looking for a good leave-in it says that you can use it on dry hair too so if you don't wash your hair every night you can still use this as a leave-in hair mask you know I always think masks need to be washed out or washed off your skin. So when a product says to leave them on, I feel like, oh, won't that like be cakey or weird, but they're not. <laughs> this is really good. And I think I'm gonna end this here. And if I do the part two, I'll add in the clothing items I wanted to share with you. And I will talk to you about a few more things, but I did talk to you about some other favorites already that, um, that I could share, but I did ind individual videos like the Halo palette from Smashbox. I did look at the other shades in person at Ulta, and this is the only cool toned one. I did a whole video on it, I think my last video. And so if you are interested, check that out. It's a beautiful face palette, definitely a favorite. So yeah, that's what I have for you today. And if you are still here, my monthly favorites are always a giveaway. And I am going to be giving away a Laura Mercier blurring setting powder to one of you. And all you have to do is like this video, be a subscriber to my channel, say blurring in your comment and I'll know you want to be entered into the giveaway and 10 days typically is when I pick the winner and announce it in a video 10 to 12 days after this video goes up you have to come back and look at the first pinned com comment and check the description box and I'll have the winner's name and tell you I'll tell you how to contact me so I can mail your Laura Mercier setting powder out to you so um yeah I hope that 
you enjoyed this video, tell me down in the comments if you have any favorites from the month of January so I can try them too. And I hope you all have a very blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.